Hey y'all, it's Mia here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm coming at you guys with yet another LPS related video, but this one actually has nothing to do with LPS popular. So today we're gonna be unboxing my dream LPS and they're not LPS that you would expect. Many people's dream LPS are usually like big five pets cause everyone wants them. They're getting more rare. Everyone loves to use them in series but none of my dream LPS are actually big five pets. And it's kind of funny because my dream LPS are also my dream pets that I really want in real life. And if you guys see my very first LPS video I made, it's kind of like a full circle moment that I went from barely having any LPS and kind of just having the LPS popular characters to now having all the LPS I've ever wanted. And honestly, I didn't even want much. I only have four dream LPS and I have them and I have all my LPS popular characters. So technically, am I done my collection? There are like a handful of LPS that I do want, but I don't want them so bad enough that I'll actually buy them. These are the ones that I've been dying to have. And I got really lucky because I found them as nibs. And also, one of these LPS have a huge backstory and one of them is going to become my mascot. And also there's a bonus pet in this video. The seller on eBay that I bought Brooke from in the Race About Ranch video sent me a extra pet because one of these pets I actually did buy from the same seller. So we're going to see who's in here. Maybe this is a dream pet that I want and I'm not aware of it. But anyway, if you're excited to see who's in here, because I am, and if you're excited to meet my dream pet, let's get this video started. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Join the herd. Let's free some pets. So the first dream pet is this ferret. And if you've seen my very first LPS video that I've made, I actually already have this ferret. But the reason why I wanted her again was because first, she's in a nib and I get to experience unboxing her again like I didn't as a kid. And I also don't have this body harness. I also have this ferret to unbox with her so they could be like best friends. And a ferret in real life is actually one of my dream pets. I love ferrets. I've always have. Shout out to my friend Alyssa because I have this one toy ferret. If you guys have seen my, re my room tour, you guys already met him, but I have this one ferret in my room that's like my toy manifestation of my real ferret that I'm gonna get in the future. And this technically was my first ferret as a kid. And before I even wanted an actual ferret as a pet, this was my favorite littlest pet shop I had. And I love this ferret mold more than the updated version that they have. And when I got rid of my collection story time in my first LPS related YouTube video. This is one I kept so she has always been so close to my heart and so cherished So I'm excited to have another one and I'm excited to unbox her So let's take a look at this packaging first don't swallow your ferret ages four and up and look at the logo and look at her little box art. She's adorable. She's thinking, my head bobbles. Is that the only thought in that little bobbly head of yours? And then, wait till you guys see the back. The back blew my mind. I don't know why. I just, wait till you see it. Look how cute this box art is first. It's huge. They blew it up. Usually in some packaging, they'll have the actual picture of a pet. Like maybe a marketing crisp photo but they did not but it's the same as every package it's promoting the website that you can name your pet and is this lps number two i thought the pug was number two the chihuahua and the pug this i'm confused about let me know in the comments down below but i love the little paw prints the art itself her pretty blue eyes and her whiskers oh and look at the little tips of her paws the gradient and her little body leash and this is her little instagram bio congratulations you just welcomed a new friend into your very own little pet shop where all your pet loving dreams come true and this is 2004 hasbro so i was three years old when i saw her in stores so let's free her i definitely want to be careful because i actually love this packaging and in my previous lps videos we tear up the packaging but this one i really want i'm gonna try to be as careful as i can Success. Oh my gosh, I love this little body harness. If you notice, it's really detailed too. You can see like the grooves of the body leash that has like this crisscross pattern on it. And it's actually two pieces, the leash itself and the body harness. I love the gradient on G1 pet. Her little pink nose and her little forelock, like this little piece of hair. I love it so much. I don't think she would be as cute without it, honestly. And I love the dark around her eyes. 
She's got this cute little brown body and the hunchback that ferrets usually have and her little tail. Look at her little paws. And she's got a pink magnet and it matches the, her pink harness. Let's get her best friend. This ferret I'm really excited to open because I don't think I ever had this one as a kid. I do not remember this one and I definitely would have kept it as a kid because I love the ferret. So this one's really cute and my favorite color is turquoise slash teal and look at the body harness i'm so excited and this one's new dollar general only two dollars oh my gosh if pets cost it that much right now that would be everything but now this one's different because it actually does show a number lps 289 and they're called playground pals now wait you see the back we got a jumbo box art look at his body oh i'm a sucker for gradient i love how it's like gelled up top like this is this was purposely styled i love how it has to mention twice that it has with boblin heads <laughs> This one has the same Instagram bio as the first ferret. And there are a few differences. And this one says figure comes with leash and pet contains magnet. So let's free him because this is one I've never had before. Again, we're going to try to conserve the box art. I was so focused on his jumbo picture in the back. I was not paying attention to the front. But he's, he's good. His paw got a little cut, but... What matters is the real pet in front of us. This one looks so chill. Like, he kind of looks like he's just daydreaming. Oh, he came out really easy. He's got a body leash and his own rubber band leash. They really thought he was going to run away. These pets kind of remind me of the kids you see out in public that have leashes. Like, are they that bad that they needed a leash? I can see him being mischievous. It's giving mischievous. He has the same body leash with that same detail that the first one had. And it's also two pieces, but it's a turquoise kind of color. And just like his box art, he's got that nice gradient around his body it's not one solid color like the first one his ears unlike the first one are also colored in and he's got that cute pink nose with his green eyes the harnesses also can come off so all you have to do is pull up and this will come off pull up again and you could slide it off and this is the harness He's naked and afraid. This is them two next to each other. They're just like naturally looking up, which I think is so cute. And you could definitely see the difference on how they painted their eyes, which is so cool. You can also mix and match. This is what he looks like with the pink one. And this is what she looks like with the teal one. They definitely did a good job choosing the colors that they did because I like it the opposite. They really do suit each other's colors. You know how like LPS series don't use hands anymore? They usually use like sticks. We can make it like move and dance. Like, eh, chapaya. Now the next dream LPS I have is this Clydesdale horse. LPS 2296. Now if you didn't already know, my favorite animal is horses. I love horses. I have so many horse videos on my YouTube channel. They have been my favorite animal since before I could even remember. And I specifically had this horse as my dream LPS because he is a different unique mold than the typical horses that we've seen made by LPS. And what's ironic is, yes, this is my dream LPS. But my dream pet in real life is also to have my own horse one day i cannot afford a real horse of my own right now but definitely in the future i will so he'll be my little horse for now this one's packaging is now very different from the ferrets this one's newer this one has a newer logo with that panda that always sits on top it's also got these paw print designs and look at that that chrome and then this is the back. I was just about to say that in the front, there's no choking hazard. So are they saying that you could swallow the horse, but you can't? That's a joke. But they do have warning, attention, everything here in the biggest font they possibly could fit on here. And these are some on the back. And although this is not my dream LPS, this is a pet that I really want so bad. This little husky, this mold is so cute. But these are all the other pets in the box. They're glittery pets. And look, there's our Clydesdale right there. They're self promoting the website in a different way. It's not saying name your pet anymore. They just pasted that URL in there. And this is 2011 Hasbro. So I was 10 years old. This was definitely in stores way back when I got rid of my pet. So I definitely was not searching for him, sadly. But we have him now. So let's free him because I definitely want to see that pamphlet too. And this packaging i do not care about we are gonna go rough we are gonna free him instantly he needs to get out of here i can't wait to touch him and get my hands on him he's so cute Ooh, he's got a lot okay book are you an author oh i know what this is this is that warning label i only wanted this lps4 this autobiography of his i'm a sucker for these i gotta see what pets i can get what are in stores right now i like the pamphlets that are like a book that was in my second lps video with the cat and the mouse their pamphlet came like a booklet and i really like that one but let's smooth it out this is a whole tree house this is so cute 
I love these photos of them interacting together. I bet the photo shoot for this was so fun and cute. And then we've got this mouse driving a car. I actually think I had this. What animal is this? Is this a squirrel? I've never seen this mold for a squirrel. An airplane. This is one of the Blythe Doss sets. I could literally put Savannah and Sage and the whole LPS popular crew in here. And they're like flying out to a convention, LPS con. Oh, and look at the little luggage bag check. Ooh, this is a fish mold I've never seen before. She's sparkly. So this is featuring only sparkly pets. I love otters. That's another LPS I have or I want. That's not part of my dream LPS, but I really want an otter. Oh my god, I love this dog. She kind of looks like a Maltese. And look at this cat. Wow, so they made some new molds for this. What kind of bug is this? And then here's some featured walkables, I think. What would the fish do I have to know? Who has this fish? It don't freaking swim. What would move? It has to have like wheels underneath like the snail maybe. These I've never seen before. This is a different variation of the paw up cut. Look at this sticker that came out of the pamphlet I just noticed. Wow, I want these accessories. The Blythdells are so creepy. Ooh, look at her lip. 2010 Hasbro. Oh, that's a different year. Paul took it. All right, for the man of the hour, he comes with a purple jump. I guess this is an English horse, maybe. Or he could do both. He could do both disciplines. He's a jumper, though. Yeah, Clydesdales. Oh, my God. Their legs are massive. I know. This is a breeze to jump over. And let's free him. Ooh, I like his mane, how it's styled. He's beautiful. He's so bobbly. It's like I have to test out the bobble as soon as they come out. Because, man, he's jiggly. Look at his thick brown tail. He's got a thick tail on his mane. Oh my god. It's like someone brushed it out. It's really glossy too. We got the LPS logo here. Look at his hooves. That's what makes him so unique as a Clydesdale. He's got those fluffy hooves that match the blaze on his face. And he's got this sparkle. Now let's test it. Is he a shedder? Because horses in real life shed a lot. So his sparkle does shed. It's getting a little bit on his ears. I haven't seen any on my fingers, so good sign, I guess. And he's got these glossy, beautiful blue eyes. Wow. His nose is a little different from the typical horse. It's more a square shape and look at that little grin. You happy to be out before I knew what dream LPS were this was my dream LPS. It was her and solely her. And she has a backstory on why she's my dream LPS. The packaging is so unique. Luckily it's saran wrap so we could definitely open this really easily. Wow, this is a really big bed. I've never seen a bed. This is one big watering bowl. This is what my Clydesdale horse is going to drink out of. 2008 Hasbro. So it's from a 2008 set. Oh my gosh, she's cute. She's a hippo. What is this attached to her butt? Is this like a skin cell? An egg yolk? Oh, it's the end of her tail. Oh my gosh, I'm like, what kind of manufacturing era or thing was it supposed to be? assist i've never been a fan of the new lps the teensies these just seem so lackluster and also lack of detail but also i I've, I've never been a fan of the new lps i love miniature things so i do appreciate her size i love little stuff like this and she's very cute and here is my dream pet spaniel 2570 i do not understand how this beautiful dog did not make it into the big five either i think she's even more beautiful than the cocker spaniel look at her tail like it's so voluptuous and thick and I love how long her fur is that it's like overlapping on her stomach and then we've got her little brown paws that matches her brown head her fluffy chest and I love her like wavy fluffy ears like her color schemes and palette is so like unique and then she's got this big little splotch on her head and on her eye look how beautiful her eyes are like first the eyelashes they're so simple but yet so cute and the blue is beautiful look at her eye shape I've never seen it's always usually like round but she's got I don't know what shape this is but she's got it and she's also got this really cute pink nose now the backstory with this lps on why i wanted her so bad was when i loved lps popular i made a fan page account for sage brooke and savannah and i was obsessed with the lps community back then i loved the photography i loved the people i met like everything about it that was my euphoria growing up and i looked up to this one specific instagram account lps Twilight Saga. I'll insert a picture of her account here. Her name is Valerie and she is so talented She's a very talented artist that even Hasbro has worked with her to make 
my little pony merch and growing up like looking up to her first she also rides horses she's an equestrian just like me so i really resonated with her and she was like a role model of mine growing up because i wanted as many lps as she had and i wanted to draw like her and i wanted to do lps photography like her and this lps was actually her mascot and it was lps twilight saga so it's kind of like twilight but with lps so this character and her little lps universe was Bella Swan and this LPS as well as this purple husky also was her mascot and because I looked up to Valerie so much I wanted this LPS of my own so I could like do photography with her and have her and Savannah together and it's like me meeting Valerie so I've been wanting this LPS since I was 12 and sadly Valerie's Instagram is inactive and she's also private so if you wanted to check her out you would have to be following her previously before when she was active so I really do miss her account I love her art and I hope she sees this one day I it's 2023 and I think her account started to not be active in like 2017 and I still check her Instagram because I would love for her to come back like she's so so amazing. I hope in the art world too she's thriving because Little's Pet Shop definitely was her boost to expand elsewhere. So that's why I got this pet because I love LPS Twilight Saga and I wanted to own her mascot. I think that I also want to make this LPS my mascot because in my first LPS video remember how I was like I'll make this my mascot this was like my temporary mascot because she was my favorite LPS but I feel like this one doesn't suit me this is my pet but this dream pet should be my mascot and I think she looks like me I don't have blue eyes but her fur is brown and my hair is brown and has a mix of like this beige and caramel and so does hers so to finally have a mascot this video is it this is my mascot. It's official. I finally have my own mascot and I wanted I was thinking about what should I make my mascot be and I didn't want it to be a big five pet because I love big five pets but I wanted it to be a little more unique and I feel like this pet's really unique and every time I look at her I think of Valerie so I'm like oh that's that's amazing. I feel like it's perfect too because Valerie's other mascot is the husky so maybe one day I could own the husky and it's like I could do a photography shoot of this pet and the husky and it's like me meeting Valerie that's why I wanted to own this pet so bad because it makes me think of Valerie and I think she's a perfect mascot for my channel for when I do LPS videos so I could be like hey y'all it's Mia here welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel these are all my dream LPS wow they actually look really aesthetic together like they look like they go together it's like a full circle moment this is me this is my future horse and these are my future ferrets it's literally mia and her dream pets literally if you guys ever see me in the future walking out in public with my two ferrets remember this moment and this would be my future horse that i'll love unconditionally maybe i won't name them maybe they don't need names until i actually own them we'll never know their names until i own the real thing so let me snap my fingers and it'll pan to when i actually have them just kidding we haven't got there yet but we can enjoy the ride. Guys, I almost forgot that my dream LPS aren't the only LPS we're seeing today. It says a gift for you. Thanks for the video. Let's see who's in here. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's my birthday. I, I know who this is. It's a horse. It's a horse. <gasps> wow. Thank you just for fun for sending me her. I had her as a kid and I loved her because she looks like a Palomino. And she specifically looks like Spirit's mom, Esperanza from... Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. Oh, I always loved her metallic mane and her little gradient blaze, those beautiful blue eyes and pink saddle. Just for some probably sent me this horse because I said in the video that they watched that I love horses. Now my dream Clydesdale as a friend. A true comparison too of the Clydesdale mold versus the horse mold. So thank you just for fun. You just helped me display the differences. If I could own every horse LPS, I would. So I'm glad to have her part of my collection. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed me unboxing my dream LPS. I know it's not like my typical Littlest Pet Shop videos, but isn't it such a cool like full circle moment that the first LPS video I had, I didn't have that many LPS until I got that bin. And now I own all the LPS I could possibly want. These little toys have been so such a huge part of my upbringing, my childhood, my development into being an animal lover. I'm so happy to own these pets and I can't wait in the future one day till I have these pets of my own. I can't wait to film that. I hope you guys are with me on that journey. I definitely will cherish these as much as I will cherish the real ones one day. I personally don't want kids so this literally will be 
my future family plus the herd plus you guys and if you love this video don't forget to join the herd like subscribe share and leave comments everywhere have a blessed day